Hello, it's us, and we're doing a science experiment for Chris's school. So that we can put more things on that playlist. Okay, so. You can put this on your playlist? No, it's for the science experiment. Science, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, duh. Okay, one video on it. so we're doing experiment 142, and it's how anthocyanins and pH help determine leaf color. So, let's see. A lot of the experiments in the book weren't actual experiments, the ones that, at least the ones I had to do. Okay, so put one cup of water and a few leaves of red cabbage into a pot. Okay, Carissa. Measure it. You can do it, Carissa, without spilling it. Can she do it? No. <laughs> okay. I dropped one little droplet. You'll be the ah! one. You'll be the one reading this afterwards. Okay, put it in the pan. It's spilling all over the floor. See, I told you it couldn't make it. says while the cabbage is boiling, you could add extra so. Wow, that's barely any water. Yeah. It's got to boil for five minutes. So go ahead and put the cabbage in there. And we'll put it on the oven and then we'll turn off the camera while it's boiling because it's, that'd be boring. Didn't it say something about stirring it continuously? Okay, let's see. It says turn on the heat and bring the water to boil. Allow the water to boil for five minutes, stir it continuously. Oh. If you start running out of water, just add a little more. Okay. It won't take long for this to boil. Okay. We're so boiling it on the table, guys. Yeah, we get an oven on our table. Isn't that cool? Okay. Bring over the pot and stuff and let's go to the oven. Is the oven. Should we put it on the big burner or? Um, no, put it on that because we don't want the water to go too fast. Okay, so go ahead and turn it on. So it's in the pot, nine days old. Smell the gas. <laughs> yeah. Can you guys smell the gas? <laughs> Let us know. Okay, so once it starts boiling, we got to stir it for five minutes. Continuously stirring. So I'm gonna go wait for it to boil first. Okay, so we well, I don't know if they want to watch you continuously stirring, so yeah. We'll be back after that part. She's stirring it and the water is turning blue. You can move for just a minute. Is it seeing it? I don't know. Okay, move a little bit. It's okay, you don't have to... You can not stir for a couple of seconds. Oh, there you go. So there we go. Okay, get back. So it'll work. <laughs> okay, so we got it done, and then it has to cool. And I spill all the water out. We have to do it over again. So we're just going to let it sit there, and then we'll continue the experimente. Okay, never mind the dinosaur in the background. Okay, so add two tablespoons of ammonia to one of the small glasses. So two tablespoons of ammonia here. Take it out. Ammonia smells so good. How do you get this <laughs> off without touching the liquid? Oh, let me get a knife. It's kind of sticky. I guess so it could detach the lid. Yeah. To prevent it from leaking. Prevent leakage. <laughs> Then you have to drink it. Two. No, it says don't drink it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh goodness, that stinks. Yeah. Whew. Gosh. Oh my eyes. Use 
Use the measuring cup to add one and a fourth cups of water to the two tablespoons of ammonia. Fold the solution to mix it. So we'll use those. Get some water. I'm gonna rinse Is this. the cup gonna be big enough to hold that much water? Yes. Well, I hope so. It said small cups. That's kind of crazy. It's small cups if it doesn't fit in there. Good thing I didn't pick the really small cups. Let's get the ammonia off of this. I think I read in the book that ammonia is just broken down amino acids. Yep. And it stinks. It smells bad. Uh, there's not enough room. How come it said small? If I put one fourth in, it's gonna okay. overflow. I'm looking like some small glass. They need to revise what they say, right? <laughs> Too small. Oh, it touched me. Oh, no. Gross. You're going to die of ammonia in here. Okay, put the one fourth in there. And now there's, there's that solution on the table now. It's okay, we'll clean it afterwards. There's all our other bird left. Is that the other one? Uh, it uh, might be in the dishwasher. Also, put in magnets underneath the wash spout's a bad idea. Okay, um... Swirl the solution to mix it. With a spoon or get a spoon. Just like get like a plastic spoon and spoon it. Oh, it says use the eyedropper. Oh. Okay. okay. After this, after they say the first thing, they don't. They're kind of crazy instructions. Okay, so go ahead and swirl it around with the eyedropper. Because that's why you need to be trying to because you can't really reach it. Just ammonia water. Ew. Ah. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other the vinegar water. Is it safe for that stuff to be getting on my foot? It might be, but it's diluted now, so... If you want, you can wipe your foot off. Okay. It's a glass dropper. Okay, so here's the other cup. This is going to be the vinegar. Oh, of course, Crumpet wants to sniff it. Oh, gosh, yeah, she likes it. <laughs> she likes stinky smells. She's like, ooh, right up my alley. <laughs> Don't bump your head on the table. Oops, this That's not work. part of the experiment. <laughs> okay, um, what's that? So next is the vinegar. So you need to just just pour some white vinegar into small glass. It doesn't say how much. So just pour some in that glass. Yep. Okay. Now drink it. Yeah. <laughs> Place an eyedropper in the glass of vinegar. So. I guess this one didn't need to be a big. Yeah. Once the boiled water has cooled, pour it into the measuring cup until you have one fourth cup of the boiled water solution. Okay, so pour one fourth into there. And where am I supposed to put it afterwards? Just leave it on the table, I think. I don't know. leave these beside these. I don't want them breaking because they're glass. So, I'll put the cup in here. This is so hard because my fork is so tiny. Yeah. It overflows with an empty mess. Oh, it's actually purple. Yeah. I thought it was blue. Okay. I guess it turned purple. Or it looks cool. like a bright purple color now. I'll not lift it up though because it's in the spill.
So it's like it's a purple. Place the see-through glass on the white sheet of paper and pour the one-fourth cup of boiled water solution into it. So let me get another see-through glass. They said these two didn't have to be see-through. So let me get the <coughs> Contaminate. Contaminate. We're in an experiment by using contaminated glasses. <laughs> okay. Let's put this over here. Let's see. Oh. I'm going to pour that into that cup. I'm going to do something like right that. Ooh, it's so pretty. <laughs> we can use it to dye clothes. That's a pretty purple. <laughs> okay, so guys, this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. It looks lighter when it's on the paper. <laughs> for some reason. Okay. Observe the color. It, be, it should be some shade of blue or green. Um, it's like a purple, actually, but depending on the nature of your tap water, it could be purple or pink. Okay. Uh, so ours is purple. It's probably because they're sulfur. <laughs> yeah. Ours is purple. So add five drops of the ammonia solution you made earlier to the boiled water solution and swirl to that ammonia solution mixes in. Is your solution green yet? So put some of the ammonia in there. How much did it say? Five drops? Okay, put five drops in there and swirl it and see if it changes the color. Ooh, it's turning green. Okay, so pour the rest back in there and then swirl it. With the drop it. And now it's blue. Oh, it's blue, yeah. It didn't turn green. It turned green at first and then it turned it's blue. blue. Oh, it's turquoise. <laughs> so it turned a blue color. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it should be some shade of blue or green. Ours is blue. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Is your solution green yet? I read the reading back to the other one. If it is, stop adding ammonia solution. If not, add ammonia solution five drops at a time. Swirl only each time after adding the drop until you get a green color. Even if your water was green as soon as you poured it in the glass, you'll need to add these first five drops of ammonia solution. Record how many drops of ammonia solution you added and the color is now green. Okay, so got to add five more. And then... Because it's, it's turquoise and turquoise, green. Turquoise, yeah, we want to turn it green. And then do the same thing, swirl it, and we'll see. Okay, so it's ten drops all together. Becoming brighter. <laughs> it's not quite Still green, not yet. green yet. So it's a brighter turquoise now. So I think we probably have to add another five drops. So this is the color. Okay, add five more drops. Okay, so it's fifteen drops. Roll it around. A little bit greener. Don't see from It's like this kind of like forest green. Yeah. Okay, so this is 15 drops. Okay, let's do another five to make it a 20. I know, it's just over there talking to itself. It's still like an aqua blue. That's after 20 drops. I think it's pretty green. It's 20 drops. Let's try five more. If only there was a picture for reference. I know, it doesn't give you a picture, that's what I was looking at. Show what kind of green they want you to do it. It's pretty. 
pretty darn green to me. Okay. Do you think it's green? That's good. And that's 25. So 25 drops, it's a green color now. <coughs> now. Purple to oh. turquoise to green. So now what do we do? So now add two drops of vinegar to it. So put two drops in it, says. Swirl it together. Whoa. It turned blue again. <laughs> Turn back to a blue color. Okay. Note the color. So record the fact that you took off the vinegar and record the color. So it's like a turquoise <coughs> blue again. We don't need to actually record anything because it's on camera. Camera, so. yeah. Continue to add vinegar two drops at a time, swirl in each time. Record the total number of drops of vinegar added and the color after adding those drops. Continue to do it until the solution has reached a pink hue. And noticeably change from that shade of from the shade of pink for three additions of vinegar. So keep putting two drops at a time until it turns pink. Okay, so that's four drops. Whoa. Whoa! Uh, that changes rapidly. Yeah. It's purple again. <laughs> Okay, so let me show you this. This is after four drops. It's purple. Okay. Two more drops. This makes six. It's kind of it's, a rosy color. It's nice getting pink. there. It's almost pink. Okay, so after six drops, it's getting to a pink color. Okay, two more. Yeah, okay, so six drops, it just kind of looks the same. Okay, let's do seven, eight. If it remains that color for a while, it's probably the most pink it's gonna, gonna get. Gonna get, yeah. Mm, not any change. It's pretty pink, actually, now. Well, pink purple. Okay, so it's kind of, it's almost pink. This is after eight drops. It didn't change that much. It's a rose pinky. Which it was earlier. Okay. So, two more? Yeah. This is 10 drops now. Uh, oh, still no change. It got lighter if I've seen it. Oh. A little bit lighter. But yeah, we'll just conclude with this for the color. It's pretty pink. It's a pinkish purple, but yeah. Unless you want me to add in our two. No, that's fine. Okay, let's see. Um. <laughs> How many different colors did you see? So all together, what did we see? We seen? Uh, it was blue before it cooled, mm -hmm. and then it turned purple, and then it turned turquoise, mm -hmm. and then blue again. Well, that's a good And then um, greenish. Green. Uh, there were a few different shades of green. And some different purple hues, and then pinkish. Um, yeah, now it's pink. So five main colors. So you should have seen green, blue, purple, and pink. So we've seen all those, just different variations. If you want, you can reverse what you did by adding more of the ammonia solution. With each ammonia solution, you should be able to go back to the green color with which you started. <laughs> okay, so just pour some in until it turns back green, if you can do it. See how many drops, so I guess you just put as much as you can until it turns green. Is it gonna turn back green? <laughs> it doesn't look like it's gonna change back, huh? Maybe it's because our water's spongy. It's changing, it's turning the water. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't 
There you go. Oh, oh wow. wow! There you go. It is green. Oh, oh, it's on my leg. It's green. Wow. Okay, it's green again. With enough emojis, you should be able to get back to the green club which you started. Clean up your mess. <laughs> okay, so before we do that, let's go ahead and read the conclusion to the experiment. Read the entire book. Just the first paragraph. And then we'll clean it up. Well, off camera. They didn't want to see us cleaning it up. What happened in this experiment? Well, red cabbage contains anthocyanins. When you boiled the red cabbage leaves in water, you extracted the anthocyanins from the leaves and dissolved them in the water. Ammonia is a base, so the ammonia solution you made was a base. As we learned in Module 5, bases have a pH greater than 7. In fact, the pH of ammonia solution was probably about 10. When you added ammonia to the boiled water solution, which contained anthocyanins, you gave it a pH of more than 9. At that pH, the anthocyanins are green, thus the solution was green. Vinegar is an acid. As you began adding acid, you lo started lowering the pH. When the pH dropped below 9, the anthocyanins turned blue. As you continued to add more vinegar, the pH continued to drop. When it dropped below 7, the anthocyanins turned purple. Pure vinegar has a pH of about 3 or 4. As you added more and more vinegar, you got the pH closer and closer to 4. Once it got near 4, the anthocyanins turned pink. We have we seen from this experiment then that a single set of pigments, anthocyanins, can give a leaf different colors depending on the pH of that leaf. Okay, so that concludes the experiment. If you liked our experiment, give us a thumbs up. If you like Carissa, give her a thumbs up. Yay. And if you feel sorry for Carissa as a cold, give her a thumbs up. Yay. And if you're not already, please subscribe for more of us. Bye-bye.